So hi, everybody. We're going to go through this quickly. I want you to have the, the right ingredients so that the panel and I can sort of get you through what social media can absolutely accomplish in your businesses. I think it's important to recognize that the days of yesteryear, the resume, CV, this is who I am, are long gone. They're not in the process of evolving. They are long gone. I, I tell you that if you want to know me socially, you go to my Facebook page. If you want to know me professionally, you go to my LinkedIn profile. And if you want to hear the random nonsense that I come up with while I'm driving on the 405, you subscribe to my Twitter feed. And it's interesting because most of the time, I don't think anybody wants to hear what I have to say. But the fact of the matter is, is that by nature, as we're going to talk about in just a little bit, we are curious people. We always want to know what's going on in other people's lives. And if the information that you have to share is specifically educational in nature, there are people who want to listen. So before you get scared and concerned with what this Twitter thing is, I want you to know that you are part of a massive community of individuals. In fact, the LA Times just did a survey, and they claim that 69% of adults don't know what Twitter is. I'm on it, and I don't know what it is. So that actually has, I mean, there's, there is no, that doesn't mean anything to anybody. Academics all over the world are trying to lay claim to what social media is supposed to become and how it's going to be monetized. I'm telling you, that's not what you need to worry about right now. And I'll talk to you about what you need to worry about. What you need to worry about is that this is the wild, wild west. OK? No one has figured out how to do it perfectly. There's no corporation, no ad agency. Nobody is using social media flawlessly. There are a couple ex you know, anomalies like Dell, who attributes $3 million in sales of the last year to their Twitter relationships. They actually have 12 Twitter accounts, very specialized relationships. So if you're a, an enterprise IT guy, you're getting one particular message. If you can't turn on your computer guy like me, you're you know, another type of relationship. But the point is, is that this is the chance. This is your chance to kind of try it out, mess around a little bit, create fake profiles, connect with people, and understand what the power of the tool might be. Because not only is it the Wild West, there are no sheriffs. Okay, This is your chance to sort of figure out how to do it right. And I want to show you that in social media, most people think that it's a marketing tool. It's a way to create new revenue streams. And I'm sorry to tell you that that's not only wrong, it's pr primarily 75% a listening device. And so when you look at the, the opportunities in social media from listening and speaking, so listening is I'm only pushing out, excuse me, I'm only retaining what I, is I'm hearing, and speaking, of course, casting forward. All of, the st all of the stuff that takes place in this part of the sequence is technically a research device. It's how I learn about what's going on in the category with my customers, my competition, et cetera. And then finally, as you move to this last tail end, Maybe you can get into the thought leadership sector. Maybe what you have to say is so important that so many people want to hear that when, let's say, branding comes to mind, you're the answer to that question, right? So when you look at the sequence, I consider all of this building and only this last stage monetization. Now, when you talk about all the social media resources, you probably heard of, let's say, Google Reader or Twitter or Facebook. They're very, very different. Everything on this side of the spectrum is just designed for you to collect information and maybe people give a little chance to react, right? This is all about listening. And then finally, only at the tail, tail end do you have the power to actually push forward and have people respond to what it is you're saying. So remember, 75% of the tools are listening devices not speaking devices. And in listening, there is no technical ROI, right? I mean, when I do research on my competition, I can't create a metric for deciding how much that's worth. But if I beat my competition to a project, I have won, and I can attribute that revenue, right? So I want you to understand that the reason why social media has become so important is because it's reflective of who we are as humans. So I think you'd all agree that by nature, we are seekers. We're constantly looking for information. In fact, the world's first social network was called a bulletin board. How many people remember being on bulletin boards, right? Late 80s, early 90s, OK? The bulletin board was an environment, although not interactive, where you could post information and people could respond in sequence. It was an opportunity to digitally connect with people who had a common interest, right? Well, we all remember the bulletin board at the coffee shop where we grew up down the street, right? The bulletin board was an opportunity for you to say that you were looking for something, and hopefully that audience would, would walk by. If we are by nature seekers, we're constantly trying to find something. I don't care if it's a bandmate, an employer, whatever the situation might be. Social media was designed for the seeker. It is the place where seekers find what they're looking for. And if you add to that, if you add to that by nature, we are voyeurs, do you realize that the best-selling publications globally 
are publications like this, Soap Opera Weekly, Us Weekly, all of the pubs that are basically for voyeurs. And because when you go to dinner with your friends, you ask them, so what have you been up to? By nature, you are a voyeur, and social media plays the optimal role for the person who's curious about what's going on in, oh, I don't know, the CEO of that company's life, the sales team of this company, right? Add not only seeker, but being voyeurs to insider. We're always trying to have a little bit more information than the person that we're chatting with. If we are seeking information to the degree that we hope to be an insider, I think that publications like Macworld and Motor Trend and all of these derivatives are perfect exemplifications of this. Everybody is looking for something in particular because they want to know just a little bit more than others. If you are that person, and I know that you are, social media is the place for not only for you to find this information, but to be one step ahead of what everyone else has to say. In fact, many, many, many global corporations have decided that they're going to tell the world via Twitter what they're doing next before they even release it to their shareholders. Can you believe that? That they've decided that they're gonna create a 140 character phrase and send it out to whoever has decided that they wanna pay attention and they're going to tell that audience what they're going to do next quarter before they tell their investors. Times have changed, right? More importantly, everybody that you hire out of college does not remember life before social media. Do you realize this? That they have been connecting with the people they've been in class with, done business with, you name it, the people that they admire, the bands that they love, they have been connected to them directly since before they had a memory. That is how powerful social media has become. And if you're not prepared to sign up, then there's a really good chance you need to get out. Remember when the fir first time you saw someone with a Blackberry and you said, never, never would I walk around. Raise your hand if you have an e a device with email on it. Seriously, raise your hand, look at this room, okay? You all remember five years ago when you said, no way am I gonna check my email while I'm in bed. What did you do this morning when you woke up, people? Right? Not only is this next, but those $500 devices that you're holding, the number one application on every single one of those devices is a social media tool. Not the tip checker, not the news ticker, social media devices. Second to last piece here is that we love, we love being a part of a community. I mean, it doesn't make a difference what your interest is, there's a party to join, right? And if we're by nature communal, we love joining forces, then what better place to do that in a social media realm where all you have to do is say that I love Nikon cameras and there's 150 people waiting there to love it with you. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> lastly here, lastly here, you can deny this, but I think we're all a little egocentric. We all think that we have something to say and the world should listen. And um, we all recall the 15 minutes of fame that Andy Warhol quoted in the 70s. But the fact is, is that if we were walking in the lobby and there was a camera crew from KTLA and they stopped you in the hallway and said, ma'am, sir, can I ask you a really quick question on television? You would have dropped everything. I mean, you would have just, oh, what meeting? What? Yes, I'm happy to address your question. And then you run over and tell all your family and friends, I might be on the news for five seconds tonight. Please watch. Right? Social media provides the realm for us to not only listen, but tell the world whatever the hell we want to tell them. And if you're a corporation and you want to stay one step ahead of your competition, tell your customer everything that they want to hear as often as possible, and you will earn something very particular that I'm going to close this presentation out with.